How's it going everyone? Today I'll be reviewing a ROM called Illusion ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 or the N7100. Before we start, I just want to say that I'm sorry about the screen, but don't worry as I'll be fixing it really soon. And jump right into this video. So the Illusion ROM is based on Slimbin and that means that the ROM is extremely fast and snappy. The ROM also provides a ton of customization options, which is really cool. The ROM has a lot of customization features from AOKP, CyanogenMod, Paranoid Android and more. So let's start with the teams. The ROM comes with two teams pre-installed, the Stock team and the Key Lime Pie team. Personally, I fell in love with the Key Lime Pie team and I really like it. Everything looks really nice and simple and I really love the design of it. This ROM has also got a feature called the Dark UI, which you can turn on and turn off in settings, and from the name of this feature you probably already know that everything will become darker. So if we just jump into settings, you can see that the ROM has a lot of stock features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so we're just going to skip them. So next you have Illusion settings, right here you have the Dark UI and Teams, up next you have the Interface settings, which we'll take a look at at the end. You also have Profiles, you have 5 presetted profiles called Default, Home, Night, Silent and Work. You can customize each and every one of them to your liking, which is really cool. You can also mess around with the notifications for different apps, which is just awesome. You can also enable or disable all the features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and more. Up next we have a section called Advanced System Settings. Right here you'll find the device settings. So if we just open that up, you'll find everything from the audio to this display setting. You can pretty much change anything you want, which is really nice. We also have the performance tab. Right here you can overclock or underclock your CPU. You can mess around with the memory and stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend messing around in here as you might cause some trouble to your device. Up next we have all the stock features like sound, display, storage and others. Then we have another cool feature called quiet hours. This one will allow you to set up a certain time when your device will be completely silent. It will remove all the notifications, vibrations, lights, pretty much everything. I really like this feature and I was using it a lot. Skipping through all these boring settings and we get to the developer options and super user settings. The developer options are pretty much the same. I noticed a few tweaks here and there that can help you from time to time, but otherwise nothing major. This ROM is also pretty cool because it comes pre-installed with super user management. It's just really useful and I really like this feature. Now let me talk about the interface settings. In here you can change pretty much everything and I really mean it. If we just open it up, it will be presented with the Illusions ROM's logo and a ton of different settings which I'll go over really quick. First we have the display settings, in here you can change the animations, brightness, LED options, rotation options and wake settings. Then we have sound, in here you can change your ringtone settings, camera shutter sounds, you can also lock volume keys, you have media control and a lot of other features you can just read off. You can also adjust all the notification sounds which is really cool. Then we have the power menu, in here you can choose between the things that you want to show up when you hold your power button. Then we have Wi-Fi settings and Michelinius, which I probably pronounced wrong. Up next we have Halo settings, which is really cool. You can choose between different colors and stuff like that, which is just awesome. You also have status bar settings, notification drawer settings and breathing SMS and breathing missed calls. Up next you have some quick link settings. You also have lock screen and widget settings, where you can change your lock screen and your widget settings obviously. You also have navigation settings, as well as pie control settings, which is really cool in my opinion, as I really like pie control. And finally you have the hardware key settings, which will allow you to customize your keys. And finally you have your keyboard and input settings. Anyway guys, that's about it for my review of the Illusion ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I really like this ROM and I think you will really like it too. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like and share this video on our social networks. Comment down below with your thoughts and finally be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any of my other videos.